In this lab at Colorado State, scientists are working on something extraordinary, a state-of-the-art device that would allow the hearing impaired to process sound through their tongues. And what we're doing is we're taking and substituting touch on the tongue with signals designed specifically for that, that the brain could then utilize over time to substitute for hearing. Professor John Williams and his team hope that in time, this small device can become a cheaper, more easily accessible version of a cochlear implant. Cochlear implants can be upwards of $40,000, including training and other things. It could be even more expensive than that. And what we're hoping to do is shoot for something that is just in the few thousand dollars that would basically perform as good or better than a cochlear implant. So here's how it works. When a patient presses their tongue against this mouthpiece, they'll feel a series of electric impulses. Now, they won't actually be able to hear sound, but the hope is with training, the brain will then process those impulses as sound. All right, that's five. And what we're going towards is fitting all the electronics and all the components onto something about the size of a dental retainer. Something that you can fit in your mouth would be, you know, no one would notice it, it'd be comfortable, it wouldn't get in the way. But since no two tongues are alike, the team must first complete countless tests and tongue mapping, a gauge of the tongue's sensitivity in response to those electrical impulses. We need more precise information, such as how big to make the electrodes and how far apart we can make them. And that could take time. Williams estimates it could be up to two years before this device is ready for public use. But until then, his team will continue working to break through the sound barrier.